Okay, so marketing versus business development. So marketing is branding. We talked about that before, what our brand is, right? I don't know that we talked about this extensively. It's what we did today. Was today business development or marketing? No, it was marketing. That was all about awareness and education, right? Trying to teach some people some stuff they don't know, right? Um, so marketing's top of the funnel, top of the sales funnel, right? That's the big open end, right? So, you know, if, if I talked to 25 people today, are all 25 gonna be clients? No. no, it's top of the funnel, right? It's a big open funnel, you know? We're gonna get some per X percentage of that. I don't know what it is, okay? Marketing is typically broadcast, right? So it's, it's broad, you know, social media, your website, right? The newsletter, okay, it's broad. Okay. Yeah, so today was today I broadcast. Did I meet with real estate agents one on one and talk about their needs and their individual deals? No. Mm -hmm. It was broadcast, right? Okay, so here's two things we haven't done yet that I that we need to do a better job on that falls in this category, right? At some point I'd like to have a monthly newsletter just talks about, you know, local land stuff that's going on in the region, right? And I need you know, we need our website needs some work. I've just been too busy, but we need some good content on there. Okay. Okay, so business development is where you actually make your money. Okay, so this is important. But if you only do this and you never do this, you go you go out of business, right? You got to move people through the funnel. Okay, at the same time, if you don't do this, do you get people in the funnel to do this? So you need both, right? You need to get people in the funnel and you need to move some percentage of those people through the funnel. Okay, who does this here? Well, I would. Uh, Vanessa does this. I would feel like you would too. To well, I'm doing say. a little. I'm doing a little yeah. bit of this, but like this is primarily Vanessa, right? Who's doing this? Are. Me you and Danny. Yeah. Boundary and land title, quick checks and proposals. I put this under business development because is this is this broad a, a quick check? No. No, this is on a specific piece of property. This is very narrow. People pay for quick checks. Right now, they're not paying for quick checks. They know we may Gosh, get to you could you could once this so, grows like you could just well, Danny have a and I may where you pay a kid to do quick checks all day. You know? Like can you imagine how for like a, a flat yeah. fee? So at like some point at some point checks. we could get somebody like Elena trained to do quick checks, yes. That would be great. Yeah. Right. People would do those all day long. Right. But at some point we will get at some point I will probably stop doing residential quick checks. I will only do residential quick checks for brokers that bring us but commercial. I'm just saying, if you wanted to hire a kid to do resident, like all they did was residential quick checks, yeah, but and they made. Yeah, but I. But no. But why would? At some point, we will stop doing residential quick checks because yeah. that's just it's just a it's, waste of time. It is at some point. Now I'm going to do it right now for this Oakdale office because we're trying to build a relationship there, right? Okay. So. But what if they only call you for that? Uh, they won't. At some point, they won't. Will. They sell. They sell pasture land and almond orchards around here. I seen a Century Twenty One sign on a cow pasture on my way into work today. Okay, and I listen. I was up front with those people today. I told them I don't like doing lot surveys. I can't make money out of. I said homeowners are very hard to deal with. What do you think all those real estate agents were saying when I said that? They know. <laughs> okay. All right. So business development is focused. Right? Bottom of the funnel. This is a really important point that I heard that I wanted to share with you guys. You know, and this could apply a little bit over here too, but people don't build relationships with organizations or companies. They build relationships with people. Why has Dominic followed me to the last three jobs? Because you. I yes. It's just like when I think of the city of Tracy now, I think of Peggy. You think of Peggy, right? You don't have a relationship with the city of Tracy. You have a relationship with Peggy. Peggy. Dominic doesn't have a relationship with got with uh, Odell Engineering. He has a relationship with Landon Blake, right? So part of why I'm mentioning that is when we're doing marketing and business development, I don't want people to know Redefined Horizons. Now, that's important. I'm not saying that our brand isn't important. It is. But who do I really want people to know? Your name. Danny and Vanessa and Landon. That's who I want people to know. And Monique. Well, no. Monique's kind of, she kind of backs the house, yeah, right? I like, I want people I'll to, deal with the health people. Like, I want people to know Vanessa. The bank, people. The right? I, want, I know the people at the bank. You know, I want, Martha, Martha, I, want the people. People. I want people to be friends with <laughs> Vanessa, right? You know, look, I'm going to use Dan as an example. I consider Dan to be a friend. 
He's not just a business partner. He, listen, if Dan called me tomorrow and said, "Freaking, I'm on the side of five. I'm on the side of 580. My car is on fire. Nobody will answer their phone. Can you come get me?" What would I say? Mm-hmm. I'll, be right there. I'll be there in 30 minutes, Dan. He is a friend of mine, right? If he called me and said, "I'm in to my eyeballs on a deal gone sideways, and I might get sued. I need your help." I would help Dan and not charge him. If I got my butt in major trouble and I called Dan and said, I'm being sued, I'm going to lose my house. I do not have money for an attorney. What would Dan probably do? He'd probably defend me. Pro bono. Okay. So part of what we need to do, we need to get people to know you two guys. That's why I have your photos on the website, right? Or, or But like, that's part of the reason why we need to work on LinkedIn. I want people to be able to find you guys on LinkedIn and get to know a little bit about you, right? So we gotta work on that. That needs to be on our, you know, two week list of tasks. Okay, and that's why these dinners and lunches are so important. You know, Vanessa met an attorney this week or last week, I can't remember. You know, that's somebody she knows. There's a face with a name now. You know, when Vanessa emails that office or calls him, is that guy gonna pick up? Yeah, the chances of her now getting getting him to respond, we double the chances of getting a response out of that guy versus a cold call, right? Because he's got a face with a name, right? Same thing. If he calls her. You know, mm-hmm. he's doubled the chances that Vanessa's going to answer his phone call, right? Because she knows who that person is, okay? So just, we got to always remember that. People connect with people, not with businesses, right? We need people to get to know us as a team.